Greetings and welcome back everyone to Dabazel Farm in Stardew Valley, where it's still a little bit chilly, it's winter after all, so I'm going to pop the fire on for now. Our uh, Crystallarium is now working on a new diamond. It is Clint's birthday today, let me double check, I do not have any gold on me, I will have to pick some up. Now, what have we got here? We have got Crystal Fruit Wine and Crystal Fruit Wine. Fantastic, no difference in value whatsoever between the two. Uh, fortune teller, we have... The spirits are very happy today. Ooh, maybe they'd head to the skull caverns, perhaps. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Wonderful. Now then, do we have any eggs in here? We do not. We have no eggs. Well, it's kind of eggs. However, what we are going to do is, I think... Let's make some more crystal fruit wine. Oh, actually, we've got a spare one over there as well. Wow. There we go. Right, is there anything I want to drop off? Not really. Oh, uh, look at that. I almost don't want to eat it because it was a it was a present. Now, I have received some preliminary feedback regarding my question on whether we should cut out a little bit more of the farm work and pretty much is an overwhelming no. Keep the farm work in except for things like watering the plants which does take a long time. But as many people rightly pointed out, repairing the walls, yeah, it's, it's kind of monotonous, but it takes all of like five or ten seconds to do generally, so it's not really worth cutting out. Dear Avak, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're uh, almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? <laughs> Why, yes, Gus, my fine fellow of a man. I'm going to bring you an albacore. Also, favor for Clint, you want an iron bar. Okay. Uh, Key's challenge, which is level 25 in the Skull Cavern, and place 10 beats inside Mayor Lewis's fridge. Pam is thirsty. Bring Pam a pale ale. That is going to be one hell of a long quest, that one. Oh, well, let's go and grab the albacore now so I don't forget about it. You're even going to get a gold one. Oh, you're a lucky fella. Uh, let's pop these down there. I need to uh, sort out my various items here. Ooh, that's right. I need to make some bait as well but we'll get to that in just a moment let's uh go check on the crops anything new no not really and i highly doubt much more is going to come through so i'm not really too concerned about that hello snufkin there you go now apparently i may have forgotten the chickens again oh i'm so sorry chickens. i love you so much and it hurts my heart every time i think oh i don't know what's wrong with me probably that i'm stressing too much about other things i've got to do in the day and i need to stop no, no, I didn't. I didn't forget them. Ha! Huh? Take that, everyone. Totally didn't forget. Well, hmm. Why is there still food there? Did you not eat? Hmm. Not sure what's going on there, but... You know what? I need, like, half of these eggs. <laughs> Come with me, eggs. Oh, there's, a, there's a part of me that wants to put those bloody mayonnaise machines in there. But there's a bigger part of me that says, No, that is literally the most ridiculously evil thing I could possibly do. They are chickens. I shouldn't be sticking their eggs into me and these machines in front of them. Um, uh, we do not have, alas, enough. We do have enough copper. Okay, let's quickly um, pop some copper on to smelt so I can make myself an iron bar. That way, I can then... Oops, sorry about that. I can then take an iron bar to Clint as well. Um, refined quartz? You know what? Someone might actually like that. I I realize that there's probably a load of people who would like Iridium Bars. And frankly, I don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't care. Oh, uh, maybe I care a little bit. I mean, if it was... If it was Abigail. Or, well, actually, probably not even Abigail. If it was Elliot, I would probably get him a gold bar. Uh, sorry, an Iridium Bar. But, you know, this, this would, would be... Uh, look, dude. Seriously, I'm doing this because it's you, but if you ask me for Iridium Bars too often, it's going to really seriously damage our friendship. You know, it's, it's kind of like ye olde nob nobility. You didn't, you, you, the currency of nobility wasn't money. They were so filthy rich, money was, it was no object. It was favour. Favour was the, the currency of nobles. And if you had the favour of another noble, you could ask for gifts or certain concessions, and that was fine. No, so Gus is the albacore, Clint is the iron bar. We've got wine to sell to Pierre. 
And I also want to repair my walls as well. I'm really so glad that all of my trees are done. We are going to be able to get quite a few things sorted in the very beginning of the next year. I better bring these with me because I'm about to do some maintenance work. But uh, we'll be able to get a couple of bundles done straight away next year. Now, not everyone is as, as keen of the uh, of my crystal path as I am. And I wish I could. But I really like it, so... We're just going to have to agree to disagree on that one. Hey, Robin. I hope you're not too cold. Do you want me to make you a cupper and bring her along? I, I don't mind. Uh, actually, I haven't got a kettle. <gasps> I haven't got a kettle. How am I making my own tea? Have I been going this long without tea? No wonder I forget to feed the bloody chickens. My brain is shutting down. Frankly, it's amazing that I remember as often as I do. I'm basically suffering extreme withdrawals. And I'm still remembering to feed them sometimes. All you people who have been like complaining, you've got no right to complain. I am basically doing this with only like three-fifths of my brain working. Maybe only two-fifths of my brain working. My lord. There we go. Now, out here, I would... You know what? Maybe I could build... I don't know if this would count as being in the way of a tree, but I would love to have, a, like, a little... Um, some trees just outside this building, whatever it's going to be. I think it's going to be a greenhouse. I'm guessing it's going to be a greenhouse. No? I can't talk to you? Fine. Okay, well, you can just enjoy yourself. Right, let's go and uh, jump aboard... Uh, <laughs> that's a very odd way of saying it. Kasha. Um, actually, first, I'm going to drop off the things that I just picked up in order to build with. And we are then... Going to be making our way. Um, I just don't have many gems, and it's kind of distressing me. We need more, like really badly. Uh, I want this. I want the bug meat, and I know I've got some. I've got four bug meat. Uh, okay, no, never mind. We really need to go to the to the uh, mines specifically to get bug meat at this point. It is a necessity. Very well, Akasha. You and I, we need to go. Um, we've got a, a plant. We can give that to Elliot along the way. Take care, Snufkin. Keep your eye on Robin. I'm fairly certain she has robbed me in the past. It's in the name. Hello, wiggly worm stems. There we go. Right. Okay. First call, as it's a Friday, we can pop by Elliot's place. Um, oh, hey, Jody. Hold up, Jody. Have I introduced you to Akasha yet? It would be nice to take a vacation once in a while. Yeah, you probably should. Take the family with you. Hey, Harvey. Oh, damn it. What? Oh. Stop telling me how to live my life. Oh, I knew this was coming. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here for free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate that. Uh... I mean, she has a point on that score, but I mean... Where the line is drawn between that giving her a right to tell you how to live is debatable. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. I appreciate that you and Dad are helping me out, but expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I flat out... I mean, it'd be one thing to dress in something wildly... Uh, well, I was going to say inappropriate, but inappropriate is such a vague term, but I mean, like... Something that aggressively sort of um, tries to offend people, like, that is reasonably the only reason someone would dress that way, is to offend someone. There, there are various examples, like, I, I hate to, to pick on anything obvious, but, you know, dressing... Well, you wouldn't walk around in white robes and a white hood in certain parts of the world. It's, whether that was actually your aesthetic preference or not, and it had no connection with anything else, it's just insensitive. But outside of that, I would say that no one has a right to tell you how to dress. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mum. That sigh. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm glad that was resolved. I'm not looking this way! I'm looking the other way! Wow, Abigail, seriously. Uh, no, no, I wasn't there. I am... Mm, I swear this house is haunted. Really? It's just like peep on them? What? Oh, that's just dodgy as sin. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. I'm glad. Um, 
Would you like a flower? Everyone else seems to like flowers. Here you go. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. Ah, I'm smooth. Even though it's cold, I still check on the public garden beds every now and then. Well, oh, that's quite nice of you. I just want to make sure that they aren't damaged too much before spring returns. Uh, that's very wise, yeah. Hey, Pierre. I'm only dealing with edibles. Uh, would you perhaps like... I could give you one of my wines. I really want to sell the wine, though. How about a fried mushroom instead? Oh, poop. Caroline? Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes. Right, how much of these... You get. That is very good. 25k already. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Do I need anything from you? I don't think I do. Hmm. My gold crystal fruit is there. I do like that my produce shows up there. One thing I've learned living here, everyone stares at you if you look different. Well, it's not just here, honestly. There are very few places where they don't stare at you if you look different. It's kind of human nature, but it's not always in a kind of judging way. Sometimes you just look different. People like to look because they think, wow, you look amazing. Well, that's what I assume when people are staring at me, at the very least. Let's go! But I may or may not have had somewhat similar discussions with my parents when I was living with them. Before I moved out, which is why I moved out fairly early. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna go and seek my own fortune. Thank you, I've lived under your roof for too long. I am hugely in your debt, in a way that I'll never be able to repay. But know that I appreciate it, but I think I need my own space. It's probably why I have such a good relationship with my parents, frankly. Hello, everyone. Let's have a chat. How are you doing, Vincent? Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in the tent up in the mountain. I am indeed. Oh, no. No, I've disturbed the reading. I'm sorry. Do you like my bow? Wow. That really shows the world that we live in. I realize now that you're talking about the bow in your hair, but when you first said it, I was looking for your bow and arrow bow. And I mean that quite honestly. She said it and I was like, I don't see your bow. Oh, that bow. Ah, right. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Hey, Clint. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay in the, my forge year round. Have this. Oh, it's my birthday today. I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Wow. Clint, really? Clint's way up there now. Clint really enjoys receiving gold. Hey, it's the iron bias asphalt. It looks strong. Perfect. Thanks, Avak. I appreciate that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seriously? My goodness. Clint is now a level 8 heart. Evelyn is level 9. Whoa. Team Evelyn, I guess. I have no idea. Um, shop. Nah, I don't really want to buy anything, honestly. There's nothing I want. Thanks, Clint. Catch you later, man. Alright, let's go look for the marvelous man. I must deliver unto him a flower. I should probably go swing by Rasmodius's place as well. It's Friday also, so I could potentially swing by the shop. Ooh. Ooh. Cutscene. Ah! <gasps> Playing the piano. Sounds sad but beautiful at the same time. That was quite amazing. Ah. I thought someone was there. See, that's the way to respond when you think someone's there. Not just, like, jumping out of your skin. Just like, hmm, I acknowledge their presence. I'm too marvellous to be in any kind of danger. That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. I'm not very good, but it's fun to play. Oh, better than me. Perhaps I should bring my violin at some point. What's wrong? I've been working day and night to try and finish my book. It's been driving me insane, Abak. Hmm. Creative processes can be like that. An occasional tune is the only recreation I allow myself. You shouldn't push yourself so hard, Elliot. There's just too much work to do. My bank account's starting to run dry. Dude, you 
don't need to be in day, just need to mention a word. I mean, I've got 25 grand, I'll just give it to you if you want it. Sometimes I wish I could just throw it all away and become a farmer like you. Um, sure. Just as hard as to be a farmer, you know. I'm sure he understands that. It's just a different sort of hard. Come live on the farm. I could use the extra help. Also, someone to play the piano. Seriously? I wouldn't have offered it if I wasn't serious. Sounds wonderful, but I can't give up on my novel. It's already halfway done. <sighs> Sorry I'm complaining like this. I just need someone to talk to now and then. Uh, I'm I'm no more than like I don't know, two minutes walk away at any time, day or night. Though I am a farmer, so you know, getting sleep is moderately more important to me than than it is to me being a YouTuber, for example. So, you know, if you can avoid waking me up in the middle of the night, that would be appreciated. But if you need to, I am there. It's a minute pump. No, I I want, I want, I want to talk with Elliot, not... Ah, oh, poop. <sighs> One day I will bring my violin, Elliot. And we shall play together, it'll be beautiful. But for now, I must go coral hunting. So many of the characters in this game are really creative. It's wonderful. Lee is a sculptor. Elliot is a writer, musician. Abigail is, you know, she, she draws. I'm not sure how well she draws. It never really showed me. But she's a very creative person as well, I like to think. And also a gamer. Penny is a very homely sort. Not as creative, but she reads books, which probably means she's got a very, very active imagination. Given how much she reads, though, it depends. I mean, she reads science manuals all the time. And not to say that she hasn't got a strong imagination, but it's probably in a different sort of way. Maru's very creative in a technical sense. You ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours? Uh, yeah, but I sometimes just like like the fire. Stop by my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my quilts and drink cider. Wow, that is... I, do you want to go now? Uh, it has been a while since I've had some good cider. Actually, it's actually been since I was last in Wales that I had good cider. That's a long bloody time. Oh, my lord. Well, there's no point in going in there right now, Lee. It's not there. Uh, right. Well, if we gallop like the wind, Akasha, maybe we can get ra to Rasmodius in time. I have every faith in you. My faithful steed is best faithful steed. There we are. I'm gonna have to chop down some of these trees just so I can move through this place unobstructed. Nope. Hello, Rasmodius. I have brought you a gift. Still want to be your apprentice. Ah, this is imbued with potent magical entities. Blah, 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 blah. When would you say something different, Rasmodius? When? Four stars. Mm, can I go down there now? Will you let me into the cellar? Ha, ha, ha! I can! What the dickens is that? It looks like some sort of demon altar that will vomit up dark rewards for blood sacrifices. Uh, I, I guess I could, like, prick my finger or something. Would you like a blood sacrifice? The Shrine of Illusions. Make an offering of 500 gold to change your appearance. Now, I'm happy with who I am. That, by the way, is one of the many secrets to general happiness. It's a stop. Stop wanting to be something you're not. Be happy with what you are. And who you are. Life tip. There you go. For free, no less. Now, does this, uh, does this fellow sell after dark? Yes! I don't need that now. All that. Ooh, herring I might need. Crystal floor, cave carrot, house plant. Yes, please. Do I need a herring? Let me have a quick look. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. It would be blue. Nightfish. What am I going to get those? I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's just uh, a snowy time. Uh, sorry, not a snowy time, but a... Uh, a um, rainy time, and it doesn't rain in winter, so it snows, which is effectively winter rain, but you know what I mean. Clint's got a new hammer, and he's blah, 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 and I've got 500 more gold. Uh, okay, well, let's head out. Everyone at this point is going to be at the, at the saloon, so I can just swing by. Hey, Penny, what are you doing over here? 
Everyone ignores him. The poor guy, he's actually really nice. Just a little odd. Oh, I, I'm completely with you there. I like him. Oh, of course, you probably walked Jazz back home. He's such a nice person. Whoosh. Okay, saloon. It is time for me to do a... Ooh, fantastic. Just in time. Come here. Uh, yes. Alex. Here you go. Ah! Really? Came all the way through the snow to see me? That I did, my friend. All the way, just for you. Ah, good times. Right, okay. Time to hand out gifts. First and foremost, an albacore, which isn't really a gift, it's a quest item. Here you go, Gus. What's that? Something smells like albacore! Wow, you've got a good nose if you can differentiate different fish. Um, I've never actually been close enough to fish enough varied fish to really tell well i mean a like prepared fish i guess but not not fresh fish i don't know if they smell that different aha you brought it thanks a million if you give me a million i will be the one thing at the same time you didn't know only 400 uh it's all right i accept right i've only got a few gifts so i need to uh ration them out ah, i didn't give elliot anything oh no wait I did. I did. I didn't. No. I, well, I can't give him anything anymore. Anyway, Marnie, you can have something. I'll. Rasmodius can. Willie can have something. Jody can have something, but she's not here. Haley could. Gus could. Jazz could. Sam could. Pam definitely could do with some. Um, okay. Oh, Pam. Here you go. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. You're welcome. Penny sure does like old books. I like old books too, but mostly the smell. I find no difference between reading a book that is old and a book that is new. But a book that is old smells like happiness. And if you don't know or agree, well, I mean, it's fine if you don't agree, but if you don't know, you're missing out. Right. Um, did, could I actually give anything to Emily? No. I kind of messed up with the, with the holly, didn't I? Marnie! Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't butt in here, but sorry, me, Lewis. Thank you. Let's have a chat. How are things going well on your farm? Yes, they are. Money? No? Okay, fair enough. Hey, Pierre. I'll be working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. That you do, my friend. Here. Have? Oh wait, no. I've already tried to give you this. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Um, Willie. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Robin not there? Oh, okay. Oh, of course, no. Robin's... Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I've stolen your wife away. She's working in, on my farm. This is great. Thanks. You're welcome, Shane. And you have work to do? Uh, kind of. Yo, Sam. Hmm. Give the cue ball just a nudge. Should I let Sam win? No, never. It'll just disappoint him. I don't know if you'd like refined cores, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't actually know anyone who'd particularly like that, to be honest. I'm, I'm not going to. We'll hold off on that one. Depressing, huh? No, it's not depressing, then. Don't you worry. Right, well, it's off back to the farm, I think. Though with that much money, there's quite a few things that I could do. Perhaps I should start looking to upgrade other items. I've got three iridium. I could go for an iridium something. Or I could go for that sword. Oh, that is tempting. That is tempting in a way that I probably shouldn't be tempted. Hmm. No, no, I, I can't. I can't afford that kind of temptation. No, 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 no. Right, I need to try and decide how I'm going to set up the industrial area because I want to try and get that done before we go into. Are you still got your food? Fair enough. Before we go into spring, so that I can have everything outside. So as my um, vats and stuff produce their items, well, except for the main machines because they do it. Oh, I didn't need to water my main machines. They do it really fast. So I'm not going to worry about sticking them up there, but um, 
Definitely the kegs and the preserve jars because they take a long time once I set them up to go to start running. We'll start moving them out and actually designing the area outside. All right, what have we got tomorrow? Nothing tomorrow. Okay, well, let's uh, hop in bed and see how the night goes. There we are. Right. Today has been a fairly long one. We're 25 minutes in, so I'm going to wrap the episode up here. But in the next, I think we may actually head down and pick up the lava katana and then head to the mines for the day. I think we should probably try and get a load of bug meat so that I can do fishing a bit more actively. But that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as always and will be joining me for the next. But until then, do take care of yourselves, everyone.